Hi, um, my name is Julie. My name is Howard. And this is our love story. So how long have we been dating? Um, um, we've been dating for five years. Five years, yeah. yeah. Five years in April. In April, yes. Yeah. Um, so how did we meet? Um, so we did go to high school together, but we, we didn't really like... We didn't really start talking to each other until junior, junior year. Because uh, we were, um, we both did ASB for our, our high school, and so once we were doing the the uh, the elections and stuff, that's when we got to meet each other more. That's when we had we got to like uh, hang out with each other a little bit more. Yeah, and then um, he asked me to um, prom the day of prom, so we kind of went the to, night of prom. Yeah, the night of prom. We kind of. The night, like the night of, like oh yeah, yeah well yeah. like okay. yeah that that early morning midnight the day of prom and then we went to prom together and then we just started hanging out a little bit more towards the end of the senior year and then we graduated and then like five days after graduation I would say that's when he officially asked me to be it his was, girlfriend. Yeah. It was June eighth, and that day we um we were headed to Riverwalk uh just normal day so like, hey let's go you know let's go hang out at Riverwalk. And little did she know that my our whole friend group were there um, at the state at the little stage right there. I forgot what it's called, but they're right there at the stage. And I used to do a little singing back then, and so <laughs> I had them pull out the guitar, and I was singing to her. And and then I popped the question, you know, will you be my girlfriend? So that's where it started. Yeah, that's where everything started. And, and it was there's a video actually a YouTube, <laughs> a YouTube yeah, video. Yeah, I think everyone's seen it by now. But yeah. Yeah. So. Um, the best memories of dating, um, I, I don't know. I feel like any memory that we had was good. I feel like the the best memories that we've had was like when we would go on like on spontaneous like trips or like yeah. spontaneous dinners. Like, I feel like any memory. Um, one memory for me would probably be when we went to the beach with all our friends. Um, that's kind of like the first first time me and her actually went out somewhere. Yeah. Um, I got to see a different side of her. Like she was just in the beginning, she was so quiet. She was so to herself, <laughs> and I'm over here being loud, being like really, you know, obnoxious. But um, I got to like kind of like get to know her a little bit more because uh, I don't know if you know, but the in Av Avila Beach, there's this. It's not there anymore, but there's this um, pet center where you oh, get yeah. to go see dogs and stuff. Yeah. And she was so like, like really careful with the do the baby puppies and all that, and it was cool to see that um, yeah. from her. Dogs are my weakness, but Dogs yeah. Weakness. But any memory that we've had, especially like with family, fa mm -hmm. we're like really big family people, so um, anytime we hang out with our families is the best time as well. Um, the proposal story, oh, that's a different story. Like, so there's two sides to that actually. Yeah, there's two sides. So she could go first. One, um, one day it was like, yeah, just a random day, I got like a message from all his friends and they were like, so Howard is graduating from college, we should throw him a surprise party. And I was like, all right, like I'm down, like we'll have it at my house, I'll get all the stuff together and you guys get little things and I'll set everything up. So um, I was planning a surprise party for his graduation. He was graduating from CSUB and um, so I had everything planned out. I took time decorating my house, like the outside. And it was one of those days where it was windy outside. My decorations were flying everywhere. And I was like so upset, I was like stressing out. And my friend was like, it's okay, everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna go good. And I was like, okay, it better because like everything's flying away. It was one of those days. So then um, all of his friends came over and his mom was like, um, come over for dinner, we're gonna have something for Howard for his graduation. I was like, no, 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 like, come to my house. We're having something for him, like, come to my house so that we can, like, all celebrate together. And she's like, okay. So when she came, we were just, like, talking, like, normal. And then um, my brother was the one that took him out to, like, Bakersfield because he thought it was a surprise. You know, everyone, everybody thought it was a surprise. And then when he got here, um, all, of, all of us were like, surprise! And like, for some reason, I noticed that he was kind of acting like normal. Like he had like the blindfold and oh. he was like, oh, like, oh my God. <laughs> and then he was like telling me to go stand by him. And I was yeah. like, why are you telling me to go stand by you? Like, this is for you, you yeah. know? And then now his side. I kind of flipped the switch on her. So yeah. let's start it back over too. So as they were talking to her about it, Probably like a month earlier than that, when they asked her, I was like, yo, you guys, like, 
I think I'm ready to ask her. I just want to go pick out the ring and everything. And so I talked to my friends and they're like, so how do you want to do it? And I was like, I want to do a surprise on top of a surprise. <laughs> and so I told them, you know, tell her, you know, uh, it, and it was perfect. It was like the beginning of the my last semester. And I told them, so we'd line it up with my um, graduation and make her think she's uh, planning a surprise graduation party for me. And so they're like, okay, that's perfect. And one thing that I wanted, um, from them was to kind of like have both families there but then when they explained it to her it was kind of like oh it's gonna be like a friends function thing and I was like no yeah. I want the whole family there and everything but it um, ended up just being our friends and so that day they did take me out um, after graduation we took our pictures we went I went home changed and everything and I was like okay this is it this is it <laughs> so they came um, her brother didn't know uh, didn't know the plan my plan and so he took me out. He's like, hey, let's go, you know, let's let's go do something before uh, we go, you know, let's go, let's go do, do something. Because um, they didn't know that I know that uh, there was a dinner. And so they went, we went around. We, I think we went to like Jack in the Box to get like food or yeah, something. Yeah, something like that. And then as we got closer to the house, they blinded, they blindfolded me. And I was like, okay, <laughs> I, I think I know where this is going. And so they took me around. I was like, I was playing dumb. I was like, where are we going? Where are we going? <laughs> And they took my blindfold off right when I got to the backyard. And I was like, uh, I was just, yeah, like she said, I was acting normal. And I was like, cause I was I was acting more nervous than normal. I was like, yeah. oh my God, this is it. But they're like, that's not the surprise we wanted. We wanted <laughs> you to be all shocked. And I was like, oh my God, okay, so um, can you come over here for a little bit? Because she was behind everyone else that's, that was yelling surprise. Yeah. And I was like, come here next to me. And then that's when I got down on my knee and I was like, yeah. Yeah, and then from there, I was like, wait what's going on i thought this was a surprise for you and then that's when he like went down on one knee and was just like will you marry me and i was just like okay i was like yes I was so yeah nervous. i was like i was like hugging him and then he looked at me he was like wait so is it a yes i was like oh yeah yeah it is and then yeah we're both nervous yeah i was so nervous and all of our friends were like yelling and like they were recording so we got like that on film too so that that was really fun and it was a good flip yeah of surprise um so excited about the wedding i mean we are getting married next year um april 8th of 2023 and we started planning like literally we got engaged last may and we probably already had like our venue booked um yeah i would say by like june it was june. it was quick i was like hey we're getting we're doing it already like two months like two years in advance we're already like booking I our think, venue yeah we looked at one other venue yeah um and then the venue she suggested we went with that one i think we had like two other venues lined up and she's like no yeah I go with this one so it was pretty quick she was really anxious about it yeah i was like i'm sorry but this is our second like second venue that we're looking at um we're booking it. I love the place. So that's what we ended up doing. But I'm really excited. I feel like we mostly have all of our stuff done. Yeah, I think that's the good thing about starting early, too, is like you get all the um, you plan everything, you get everything booked mm -hmm. and then you just you're just chilling from there. You're just waiting till the big day. Yeah. So right now this is uh, us just waiting for the big day. I feel like it's going to be a very emotional day. So I'm, I'm excited, but I know we're going to do a lot of crying for sure. Yeah, I mean, people who know me, I could get emotional, but I, I like to keep my emotions to myself, but they'll probably be surprised. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm going to be surprised. Because I think I, I'm going to be crying the most. Yeah, I cry a lot all the time, and I feel like I never really see him cry, so this will be something <laughs> exciting yeah, I'm to excited. see. <laughs> um, so, define love. Um, I, To me, I think love is just being supportive for your significant other and being yeah. there for them and just um like yeah just supporting them in anything that they do like no questions asked like you'll be there in a heartbeat and also like um i mean other uh besides the fact that you're really like you really uh love them from the uh exterior uh, exterior um phys physical exterior point of view yeah uh it's more of the inside, like you get to know the person and then just growing up with them, having that uh, growth with them. You fall in love with that too, yeah. uh, along with themselves. Yeah, especially from like the time when you guys first started dating and then later on in life, you guys just slowly, like you said, grow and see the growth from one another and just, I don't know, like love can be anything, but I just feel like 
just being there for the person and supporting them in any um, journey that they go through and just, yeah, I feel like that's we, what love would be for me. Yeah, we, we defined it ourselves. <laughs> yeah. And that's our love story. <laughs>